The EU's chief Brexit negotiator has issued a fresh warning that Britain must settle the accounts and speed up the pace of negotiations if it wants a free trade deal when it leaves the bloc. Article 127, the obscure clause that could deliver a soft Brexit, Jonathan Lee Reed Moore speaking ahead of a keynote speech by Theresa May in Florence on Friday, Michel Barnier said there was still major uncertainty over the UK's approach on key issues and asked why it had taken so long to set out its stall, warning that the UK had just one year left to make a deal, he said, the question facing us over the coming months is serious but simple, will the United Kingdom leave in an orderly fashion, with an agreement, or not? From our side, I repeat once again that an agreement is the best outcome. It is in our common interest. But if we want a deal, time is of the essence. He said the three key issues that had still not been resolved were the financial settlement, the rights of EU citizens and the Irish border. We are a few days away from the fourth round of negotiations. Barnier said, I am asking myself questions. I'm wondering why, beyond the progress we've made on Certain points, there is still today major uncertainty on each of the key issues of the first phase. To make progress, we are waiting for clear commitments from the UK on these precise issues. We will listen attentively and constructively to Theresa May's important speech tomorrow in Florence Barnier warned that May would have to make a substantive offer on citizens' rights and the financial settlement to break the deadlock. The Prime Minister reached an agreement on the contents of her speech in a two-and-a-half-hour cabinet meeting in Downing Street on Thursday, after a week of tensions with Boris Johnson and other former Leave campaigners over the direction of Brexit. She will travel to Florence on Friday to deliver the speech, which is expected to promise that no EU country will have to contribute more financially as a result of Brexit until 2020, and set out a desire for a transitional period of up to two years. City's top official calls for quick Brexit deal to avoid exodus of jobs read more as senior cabinet minister David Gauck insisted after the meeting that the cabinet was united on the plan.